Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making easy, amazing kitchen sink cookies. So let's get started. First off, set your oven to 350. It should be nice and hot, and these cookies have no chill time. Now, in the bowl of your stand mixer, or a big bowl if you're using a hand mixer, I want one cup or 226 grams of room temperature unsalted butter. And I want you to take a look. If I press down, my finger will make a dent with a little bit of effort, so it shouldn't be too hard, and it shouldn't be falling apart soft. You can also see that I can even bend the butter and it's not breaking, it's bending. Okay, now it's time for the sugars. I want white and brown sugars to make this the best cookie ever. Half a cup of granulated sugar, that's 100 grams. These are of course called kitchen sink cookies because they have everything in them except the kitchen sink. And when I was recipe testing this, Brian ate all of them, like all of them. I barely got any, so they're really good. Now I want three quarters of a cup or 165 grams of brown sugar. And if you're using a measuring cup, pack it in, but you also wanna break up the lumps. So I'm using a scale and I'm just gonna sprinkle it in so I know there's no big boulder of brown sugar hanging out. Look at this, ridiculous. Those are really difficult to mix in and they just kind of make these like sugar voids in your cookie and they can cause melty cookies that kind of, kind of go like that. I also want two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Homemade batch, so good. That video's up on the channel. All right, and now we're gonna pop this onto our mixer with the paddle attachment. This will mix up on medium for about three minutes or until it's light and fluffy and you might have to scrape the bowl down. I'm warning you ahead of time. Three minutes, fluffy, light. Yes, I am having a snack. One scrape will do me. This actually mixed up really, really nicely. And part of that is because the butter was just the right temperature. Mm, I could eat this stuff like this. <laughs> now I want two large eggs. Can I just show you this? Look, these are both in the same container. I don't know if you can tell, but one is much larger than the other. The lies, the lies. <laughs> Crack these into a bowl first. You don't want to get any shells in your kitchen sink cookies. That is not part of the kitchen sink situation. Looks clear. All right, we're gonna add these eggs in one at a time while mixing, and you're gonna scrape the bowl down at least once. Give it a chance to mix in and incorporate. The eggs are giving you like a wonderful binding agent. They really help the texture of your cookies. And of course, the yolk gives you a little bit of added richness as well. A lot of times when you add egg into a butter mixture, you'll see the mixture break. It was smooth and fluffy and beautiful before, and now it kind of has these little granules. It looks kind of cottage cheesy. That's okay, it'll work out. Don't, don't panic. <sighs> okay. Egg number two. So these cookies have toffee. They have... <laughs> so these cookies have toffee. They have pretzels, they have potato chips, they have chocolate chips, they have the brown sugar, the regular sugar. Everything is in them and they are so good. You get the chewy, the crunchy, the salty, the sweet, all of it together in every bite. And this is, it makes a lot of cookies, this recipe, but they're gonna fly away and disappear in a moment. Right. This is nicely mixed up and Everything happens in one bowl here is another nice thing. You're not adding tons of things to wash. So I'm going back to my scale because everything gets dumped in here. There is no other bowl. Now into the bowl, I'm adding two and a quarter cups or 270 grams of all-purpose flour. You know that when you use a scale, you get such accurate results. If you were adding flour with a measuring cup, you can really pack it in and it gives you a totally different texture and taste. 200 and 70 grams, yes. I also want half a teaspoon of salt for some contrast. Yes, there is salt in the potato chips and the pretzels, but just a little extra. Bink. This, by the way, is kosher sea salt. That is a mellow salt. If you're using iodized table salt, that is a very salty salt. <laughs> so it also tends to have finer grain crystals. So if you're using that, I would use less. To puff things up, half a teaspoon of baking soda. This baking soda is so lumpy. I'm sifting it in. There are some rocks in my baking soda. Very annoying. You hear that? Listen. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Nobody wants a clump of baking soda in their mouth. Because I'm me, I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit to get started. That was optional, it's just because Virgo feelings. Now we're gonna pop this onto our mixer, mixing on low until almost combined, almost. And if you're seeing like all the butter on the bottom, scrape, scrape, scrape. Just help your mixer out a little bit. The thing is we have more ingredients to add and I don't wanna have this evenly mixed yet because then the dough could become kind of tough. This would be so delicious to eat just by the spoonful. Okay, mix that up just a little bit more. Perfect. I see a little bit of flour hanging hither and thither, but it's not too much. First off, I'm adding half a cup or 120 grams mm, of toffee. So good. Okay, add that right in. This has kind of like a nutty flavor to it. Really adds a lot to the cookie. I also want one and a half cups of chocolate chips. I am reserving a handful. I know you know why. It's to make the cookies look pretty. Dump that in. You could use regular pretzels that you've chopped up or these really cute mini pretzels that you just kind of crush a bit with your hands. So, crush. <laughs> so strong. <laughs> I'm just gonna sprinkle those in. You can have them really be any size. I just don't want whole pretzels going in. And once again, I will be reserving just a few for the tops. So much easier than chopping. Does that sound amazing? <laughs> and then finally, I want one cup or 45 grams of crushed potato chips. And I'm just gonna add more potato chips on top. I'm not reserving any. It's supposed to stir by hand, but I'm just gonna use the mixer for a second. That is it, that's all I needed. The rest you can do by hand. Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. That's crazy. Now we're gonna mix this by hand, just a little bit, fold it in, trying to lose anything. So much creamy, crunchy, chewy, nutty, salty, sweet amazingness in this cookie. This looks great. Grab your lined baking sheets. We're gonna bake these a tray at a time, but first we gotta portion them out. Now we're gonna scoop our dough out two tablespoon sized bits. This is a one and a half tablespoon sized scoop, so I'm just doing a heaping. Space them out about two inches apart. Now the one thing I will say is these cookies look a little homely right now. They could look glamorous and beautiful with the addition of some toppings, which we'll do next. Some more potato chip pieces. So much texture and color. It's like you're an artist. Crush some more pretzels up a little bit just to place them onto the sides and the top. Popping some chocolate chips onto the top just so they look glossy and pretty. I had more than enough chocolate chips for the inside, which is why I reserved some for the top, but you could definitely add more potato chips and more pretzels for garnish. That's why I did that. My first batch is ready to go into the oven, 350 for 12 minutes. While that bakes, I'll make the next batch up and so on and so forth until all the cookies are either made or ready to be frozen. In you go. Out of the oven, puffed and golden. Look at that texture. Oh my gosh. Mm. Salty, sweet, crunchy, chewy, soft, amazing, amazing cookies. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my cookie playlist.